Operator were completed the work stood in completion. The builders of the lowest grade announced the work was finished. Forth from the rocky strata emerged the covering next. The builders of the second agreed the work was done. The first and second on the upward way stood forth in fourfold form. The inner five was somewhat seen by those whose sight was keen. A.U.M., said the Mighty One, and gathered in his breath. The spark within the peopling third impelled to further growth. The builders of the lowest forms, manipulating densest Maya, merged their production with the forms built by the watery ones. Matter and water merge produce the third in time. Ascension thus progressed. The builders worked in union. They called the guardians of the fiery zone. 14 A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E -E -E. Matter and water mixed with fire, the inner spark within the form were blended all together. The mighty one looked down. The forms met his approval. Forth came the cry for further light. Again he gathered in the sound. He drew to higher levels the feeble spark of light. Another tone was heard, the sound of cosmic fire, hid in the sons of Manas. They called to their primaries. The lower four, the higher three, and the cosmic fifth met at the great inbreathing. Another sheath was formed. S-T-A-N-Z-A-I-I-I. -I -I. The great wheel turned upon itself. The seven lesser wheels rushed into being. They revolved like their mother, around, within and forward. All the Texas fifth was. The wheels were diverse, and in unification, one. As evolved the great wheel, the inner fire burst forth. It touched into life wheel the first. It circulated. A million fires rose up. The quality of matter densified, the form was not. The sons of God arose, scanned the depth of flame, took from its heart the sacred stone of fire, and proceeded to the next. In turning next the great wheel launched the second. Again the flame burst forth, took to its heart the stone and proceeded in revolution. The sons of God again arose, and sought within the flame. The form suffused not, they said, remove from without the fire. Quote. Faster revolved the greater wheel, blue white emerged the flame. The sons of God again came down and a lesser wheel revolved. Seven times the revolution, and seven times break the heat. More solid grew the formless mass, and deeper sank the stone. To the heart of inmost fire the sacred stone went down. This time the work was better done, and the product more perfected. At the seventh revolution, the third wheel rendered back the stone. Triple the form, rosy the light, and sevenfold the eternal principle. 15. 16 A T R E A T I S E O N C O S M I C F I R E. From out the greater wheel, down from the vault of heaven, came into light the lesser wheel that counted as the fourth. The eternal law slipped down, and the sons of God reached forth. Down to the inmost point of death they flung the sacred stone. The plaudits of the Chohan grows. The work had turned a point. From the pit of outer darkness, they gathered forth the stone, translucent now and unalloyed, of color rose and blue. The turning of the fifth wheel and its action on the stone rendered it still more fit. Yellow the blending tint, orange the inner fire, till yellow, rose and blue mingled their subtle tones. The four wheels with the greater. 
work thus upon the stone till all the sons of God acclaim, and said, The work is done. Quote. S-T-A-N-Z-A-I-V. In Revelation 5 of the Great Wheel the period set was reached. The lesser wheel, that responded to that fifth great turn, passed through the cycle and entered into peace. The lesser wheels come forth and likewise do their work. The great wheel gathers back the emanating sparks. The five dealt with the work, the lesser two but wrought with detail. The stone had gathered fire, lambent with flame it shone. The outer sheep yet not the need till the sixth wheel and the seventh had passed it through their fires. The sons of God emerged from out their source, gazed on the sevenfold work, and stated it was good. The stone was set alone. In dual revolution moved the greater wheel. The fourth lord of the greater twelve handled the work of sevenfold fire. It is not fit, he said, merge thou this stone within the wheel which started revolution. Quote, the lords of the greater seven plunged the stone within the moving wheel. The lords of the greater fifth and sixth likewise plunged their stone. Within the fire, deep at the inmost sphere, as world through space the greater wheel, bearing the lesser seven, the two were fused. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth blended, merged and intermingled. The eon closed, the work was done. The stars stood still, the eternal ones tried to inmost heaven, display the work. Draw forth the stones, and lo, the stones were one. 17. S-T-A-N-Z-A-V The moment Manvanteric, for which had waited all the triads, the hour that marked the solemn point of juncture, arrived within the scope of time, and lo, the work was done. The hour for which the seven groups to Rushik, each vibrant to the sounding of the word, seeking the adding of the power, had waited for millennia, passed in a flash of time, and lo, the work was done. The first degree in mighty acclamation beaming the hour propitious, sounded the triple note in threefold reverberation. The echo reached the goal. They three times sent it forth. Restless the sphere of blue felt the vibration and answering, roused herself and hastened to the call. The second, with wise insistence, hearing the first sound forth, knowing the hour had likewise come, echoed the sound or note quadruple. This fourfold reverberation circled the gamut of the spheres. Again it was sent forth. Three times the note was sounded, healing across the heavens. At the third intoning came the answer to the call. Vibrant as a key attuned, the eternal primary replied. The blue to the dense one answered and responded to the need. Quivering the sphere heard the third take up the note, healing it forth, a full tone chord smote on the ears of the watchers of the flame. The lords of flame arose and prepared themselves. It was decision's hour. The seven lords of the seven spheres watched breathless the result. P. 18. S-T-A-N-Z-A-S-O-F-P-Z-Y-A-N-19. Great Lord of Sphere the fourth awaited the oncoming. The lower was prepared, the upper was resigned. The great five waited for the point of equidistant merging. The foundation note ascended, deep answered unto deep. The fivefold court awaited the response from those whose hour had come. Dark grew the space between the spheres. Radiant two balls became. The threefold thirty-five, finding the distance just, flashed like a sheet of intermittent flame, and lo, the work was done. The great five met the three and four. 
the point intermediate was achieved. The hour of sacrifice, the sacrifice of flame, arrived, and Koreans have endured. The timeless ones entered into time. The watchers began their task, and lo, the work proceeds. STANZABI Within the cavern dark the fourfold one broke for expansion and for further light. No light above, and all around the gloom enveloped. Pitchy the darkness that surrounded it. To the innermost center of the heart, throbbing without the warming light, crept in the icy cold of uttermost darkness. Above the cavern dark shone all the light of day, yet the fourfold one saw it not, nor did the light pervade. The rending of the cavern precedes the light of day. Great, then, must be the shattering. No help is found within the cave, nor any hidden light. Around the fourfold one leaves the vault of stone, beneath him the nace the root of blackness, of utter denseness, beside him and above, not that the same is seen. The threefold watchers know and see. The fourfold is now ready, the work of denseness is completed, the vehicle prepared. Sound is the trumpet shattering, blinding the power of the oncoming flame. The mystic earthquake rocks the cavern, the burning flames disintegrate the Maya, and lo, the work is done. Gone is the gloom and the blackness, rent is the cavern through. The light of life shines in, the warmth LNS Pires. The lords on looking see the work commence. The fourfold one becomes the seven. P. 20. STANZASOFDZYAN21 Chant of those who claim rises to all creation. The moment of achievement is attained. Proceedeth the work anew. Creation moveth on its way, while waxeth the light within the cavern. STANZABII Riseth the cave of beauty rare, of color iridescent. Shineth the walls with azure tint, bathed in the light of rosé. The blending shade of blue irradiates the whole and all is merged in gleaming. Within the cave of iridescent color, within its arching circle, standeth the fivefold one demanding further light. He struggled for expansion, he wrestled towards the day. The five demand the greater six than seven. The surrounding beauty meeteth not the need. The inner warmth suffiseth but to feed the earth for fire. The lords of flame look on. They chant aloud. The time is come, that time for which we wait. Let the flame become the fire and let the light shine forth. The effort of the flame within the crystal cave becometh ever greater. The cry goes forth for other aid from other flaming souls. The response comes. The Lord of Flame, the Ancient One, the Mighty Lord of Fire, the point of blue within the hidden diamond, the youth of timeless eons, assisteth in the work. The inner burning light and the outer waiting fire, together with the rod, meet on the sphere of crystal, and lo, the work is done. The crystal rends and quivers. Seven times the work proceeds. Seven the efforts made. Seven the applications of the rod, held by a lord of flame. Three are the lesser touches. Four. Twenty-two. S-T-A-N-Z-A-S-O-F-P-Z-Y-A-N. 23. The Divine Assistance. At the final fourth the work is done and the whole cave disrupts. The lighted flame within spreads through the rending walls. It mounteth to its source. Another fire is merged. Another point of blue findeth its place within the diadem logoic. S-T-A-N-Z-A-V-I-I-I.
the greater three, each with their seven lesser wheels, in